It's been a very pleasant experience for me at Fitter in Rome. I've enjoyed meeting people from all over the world, people with whom we share similar interests, and I've learned a lot from them. Some of the things I've learned relate to simple clinical stuff. For example, how to palpate for lipohypertrophy. In India, we pride ourselves on our clinical sense and our clinical acumen. But here, I learned that there's a lot more to palpation than what we normally think. I've learned cutting edge technology also. For example, stuff related to uh, the ITQ and the results from the ITQ. So it's been a very nice learning experience, spanning a wide spectrum from simple clinical things to modern technology. The fitter recommendations will not be of any value unless doctors all over the world, including in India, actually begin to implement them. The advice that I have for doctors in India is to read the fitter guidelines understand them and internalize them, making them part of their diabetes practice. We would like to go slow by explaining the important recommendations to doctors all over our country so that they can make them part of their practice. And gradually we feel over the next few years, the fitter recommendations will become part of clinical practice in India and in other countries as well. The fitter recommendations are important in many ways. And one of them is in trying to reduce the percentage of reuse of needles. From the ITQ survey, we find that India has one of the highest percentages of reuse of needles. Now, we all know the adverse effects of reuse, including infections, including trauma to the skin, including lack of dose accuracy. Uh, the fitter recommendations bring this aspect into perspective and strengthen our voice for single use and against reuse. So with the backing of the fitter board and the, uh, and the consensus that the whole fitter family is giving from all across the world, we should be able to convince people in our country as well as in other parts of the world to stop the practice of reuse. When we use insulin in diabetes, there are many adverse effects. One of them is local site reactions, such as lipohypertrophy. For me personally, lipohypertrophy had existed. I knew that it was there 20 years ago, but it, it had never been a big part of my practice until a few years ago, until the FIT recommendations, when I realized that lipohypertrophy is actually something to be thought about. This thought process has been strengthened at FITTER. Now I really understand the disadvantages of lipohypertrophy, the fact that there is no cure for it, and also I understand the message that it has to be prevented. And the same way that we prevent diabetes complications by early diagnosis, early management, we have to follow exactly the same approach for lipohypertrophy, early diagnosis, early management. I would like to go back and spread the message of early diagnosis, early palpation, a thorough palpation to all my countrymen. The simple theme that we have chosen for India lies around three Ds. Ask for discomfort, look for discoloration and palpate or examine for dystrophy. With these three Ds, we hope to create a simple message which everyone in India will follow and will try to uh, implement in their clinical practice.